Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Angur. We are on the CRUD operation suggested by Mashal Zayed and thank you Mashal again. And we have covered the create part in the last episode and also in the part 13 of to do list mini project. So in this episode, we are going to learn about the read section that means show part of the CRUD operation or read part of the CRUD operation. For that here you can see that we have generated the resource controller and resource controller has given us this function that means show function and our goal in this episode is that we want to click here and we will show the title and body together in a separate page. Okay, so how will we do that? For that I will just go to my command prompt and I will type here php artisan route list and you can see that here is the list of the routes you have with the resource controller. So for the show part what we have to do we have to go with the get request on the URL of to do slash here is written to do in the braces that means here comes the id part okay so when you go to this uri that means when you go to to do slash let's say one then if you hit enter then there is a blank page why blank page because when you hit that url you have redirected to this controller's method that means on the show method or where is that show method here is that method so you can see here is written id so let's just return that id return id and let's refresh okay so you can see one is written here and when i will type 10 so it will return 10 so that means we are on the correct path okay but we don't want to manually type this we just want that when we click on this item we will redirect to that part so for that we have to make this title a clickable and for that we have to go to our home.blade.php and just wrap this title inside an anchor tag here is the anchor tag let's see it become an anchor tag but how will i redirect to that part for that here we have to type to do and after that just give the id of that item so let's see the result click refresh and there's a problem oh there has to be a dot for the concatenation and yes and you can see in the at the bottom here at the bottom here there is a correct url so when i click here it will return one and when i click here it will return two so but again we don't want the id we want everything related to this title so we only have title and the body let's show these things so we will go to to do controller and instead of returning id i will return a view view called show in to do folder so when i refresh and click and we will get an error because we don't have any show dot blade dot php okay so we have to make that show dot blade dot php for that i will just go to my resource and view and to do and here i will create show dot blade dot php and here i will just extend extend what layout dot app and let's see the result and yes we have the result correctly we have to find that item with the id so for that we will just type here item and for that item i will say to do find and find with this id and just pass this to do with the compact method and in the show.blade.php i will just say section section name is body this is a blade part so end section and we will just give a margin and after that uh, heading heading has title title that means to do dash title here and wrap in the braces and just refresh and there is an error because undefined variable to do why we have passed the to do compact oh here is item 
so we will just type item and click refresh and yes this is here but i want this at the center so wrap all these things in a div and that div this has class of call lg offset 4 and with call lg 4 again and let's see the result and yes this is at the center and uh, and after that what i want i want the body part so here i will say p tag and uh, here i will just give the body and uh, nothing else and yep we have done the at show part so let's see another this is title 2 and this is another body so we have successfully done the show part that means the read part of the crud operation so if you have any doubt in this part just feel free to comment me and if you have any doubt in any section of my tutorials in anywhere of your projects then please feel free to comment i will surely respond to your question and please subscribe to my channel for new updates for cool updates for fun updates about the laravels and you can follow me on twitter facebook and instagram please share this video with your developer friends and in the next episode we are going to learn about the edit part or the update part of the crud operation so stay tuned and wait for the next part and we will meet in the next episode till then bye